Our Columbus News Update. Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Abby Price with your midday Arklamas update. Well, the town of Delhi is a recipient of a grant for sewer improvements. NBC 10's Valerie Moravi tells us more on these upgrades and how it will impact residents. A total of $5.5 million will be used for vital improvements for the Delhi sewer treatment plant. This is one of the biggest uh, grants that we received since I've been here. The town recently received a grant of $4.4 million from the state's water sector program. The project will include removing about 10 million gallons of sludge because the capacity of Delhi sludge management facility is not high enough. Couldn't get it through the system in time, uh, in a timely manner with the small bell press that we uh, have. Town's engineer Glenn Turner says this project will give Delhi more capacity to tree sludge and dewater the sludge with the addition of the larger bell press. And to additional capacity to compost the sludge and then they have a big backlog of sludge at the treatment plant and this will, the, this much needed grant funding will allow Delhi to uh, dredge a lagoon out and dewater that sludge and then land apply it on area farms. Other upgrades will include installing backup generators at five of the town's major sewer lift stations that would benefit Delhi residents and local businesses. With an extended power outage, sometimes the, the lift, there's no place for the wastewater to go, so this will allow the lift stations to run during the ice storm and during the hurricane. The matching funds for this project will be 26 percent. Washington says this portion comes from state funds received in 2021. Unfortunate, we have part of the matching funds by utilizing our ARPA funds. Delhi's wastewater treatment also serves hydro extrusions in the Lamb West Sweet Potato Processing Plant. The project's expected to begin this summer and be completed within a year. Reporting in Delhi, I'm Valerie Moravi for your Oklahoma's News Source. Well, the Orleans Parish Registrar of Voters is proving the naysayers wrong and showing proof of the certifications process when counting recall signatures. There were some familiar names that you wouldn't expect to see. More than 67,000 signatures were collected for the recall, but only about 27,000 were registered voters in Orleans Parish. And some names like Cinderella, Shrek, and Mickey and Minnie Mouse were thrown out. The registrar says a lot of those characters' names were possibly written by the same person. She said recall organizers turned turned in a second batch of signatures and 90% were duplicates of the first batch that were turned in on Ash Wednesday. We've counted the records, we received the records, we verified the records, we certified the records, and we are quite sure that what we've done is proper and uh, in keeping with the law. They are upset with the way the petitions were handled. They are now saying they turned in around 100,000, not 67,000 the registrar said was in the first batch. They are now questioning if they were even counted. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Trey Tonnison. Instability already in full swing out to our west-northwest, and as this system rolls down to the south and east, it will provoke a severe risk for not only Arkansas, Louisiana, and parts of the south, but specifically the Arklamas, and a large chance for severe weather, a 4 out of 5 risk for a large area in our viewing area, and the rest in a 3 out of 5 risk in just a moment. But as for today, temperature highs into the mid-80s. Those severe storms are possible throughout the afternoon, but that doesn't mean everyone will see severe development. In fact, not everyone will see thunderstorms guaranteed as they'll be scattered in nature and really popcorned across the region. As we take a look at that severe outlook, like I mentioned, level four out of five moderate risk for parts of our area, and then the rest in this orange shade, a level three out of five enhanced risk. Regardless, we should be weather aware throughout the day, regardless of if you live in Louisiana, Arkansas, or even Mississippi, as severe weather development is possible all across the region. And should some of these storms fire up, the atmosphere is very conducive to pretty quick storm building and storm intensification. On into your weekend, we clear out cloud-wise and also cool off temperature-wise back into more seasonable averages into next week. We start a period of clouds sticking around throughout next week. Temperatures cooler into the 70s throughout next week before we finally warm up next Thursday with another frontal passage looking possible. Well, that's it for your midday update. Have a great day. NBC News Daily continues.